we're back <laughs> <laughs> and we have another guest which is like you know it's uh becoming a, a new thing for us not really because we had guests before but you know what i mean we've it's, it's been an silent. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so uh big round of applause which i'm gonna put in digitally on premiere pro but you know <laughs> and drum roll for elizabeth seda welcome Yay! hello hello it's so nice to be here i love it thank you for having me Oh, so Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, before we get into any questions or anything, Katie, please introduce our podcast. We'll do the podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. I am Katie. That's Lily Kay. And as previous mentioned, this is Liz Sedar. That's us. <laughs> that's us. <laughs> and, well, and, and welcome here. Welcome here. And uh, we just get right into it because why the hell not? <laughs> that's why we're why here. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, before we go into specific projects with you that we got the email about and are very exciting, uh, I, I have a very important question. How, sure. did the, how did the whole thing start? Like, uh, when, when was the point where you were like, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. It's good. Oh, yeah. Um, man. Uh, well, I guess it was like, mm, I, I lived in Chicago and I did like, uh, I did ADR on a, on this tiny tiny like horror film or something like that and I was like oh this is a thing and then I moved to LA in 2006 and you know I actually sort of had like a I I, I didn't approach it probably in the best way because I was like oh it can be my survival job not appreciating understanding <laughs> recognizing the amount of work and just how amazing this profession is and how talented people are and oh yeah I can just waltz into this and no 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 <laughs> so I, I I was up for a, a, a rude awakening so eight years later um I I really like quit my survive my other survival jobs I was like a professional balloon twister wow uh, oh yeah, my god I had, like, yeah <laughs> Yeah, fun side side note. Um, and yeah, and I just like took the plunge. But I um I had just, yeah, I literally was in LA and I did a play with a uh, I'd done a yeah, a theater production with this girl um who'd done a lot of VO work and she's like, Oh, yeah, you know, you have a great voice, whatever, but um get a demo with this guy that I've worked with. And I was like, Okay, and then um got a commercial demo and then got an agent and kind of, you know, started to figure it out. But um, not until like almost 10 years later did I like quit my survival jobs and say, I'm going to do this full time because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was kind of doing <laughs> first <laughs> and uh, get my feet wet and get some credits and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it was a very gradual, very gradual. This is not an overnight. This yeah. is not an overnight <laughs> sensation right here. This was, yeah, over a decade of grinding. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. all the good things are kind of like that. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like you're re you're ready when you're ready, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was not ready uh, in the beginning. I thought like I had it all figured out, and I did not. So um, learn the hard way along the way, but um, all worth it. I would not change a thing. No, nope. no regrets. Love so that. cool to hear. I, I honestly, yeah. but like, I'm just fascinated by the whole balloon thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, I kind of oh, yeah. want to know what your other survival jobs were. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Well, I was um, I had started as like a like a children's entertainer, like playing all okay. the Disney print there. Can I say Disney on here? Um, the the prince, the many princesses um, of, you know, lore. Um, and I hated it so much. I would play like costumed <laughs> characters, like headed like the Easter bunny. Um, I would have, you know, I just like the humiliation I experienced on like a weekendly basis was enough to really motivate my voiceover career. Um, <laughs> but I, did, I mean, you know, I was a waitress. I, um, I, I had, oh my God, I can't even, I think I've like repressed a lot of them. Um, yeah, I was a promo model. So I'd like have to go to clubs mm -hmm. and like give out free drinks. And uh, that was awful. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, the promo modeling and the, and the kids entertaining slash balloon twisting. Um, since I did it for like eight years, I got really good at balloon twisting and then like actually got into the art of it a lot more. Um, but yeah, those were my two main ones. And and then waitressing was earlier on, but I was like, this is awful. I, I will do, <laughs> I will literally do anything else. And then I realized, you know, wearing a, a full headed mascot suit was maybe not, was maybe way worse than being a waitress. So. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie. That sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, a night it's a nightmare. Like anytime I'm feeling down on myself, which, you know, we often do in this crazy 
life that we chose. Um, I'm like, no, we're not dressing up and having to walk down the street in 105 degree heat and, you know, try and mm-hmm. face paint some child with zero visibility. Like, yeah. So I try to exercise some gratitude. <laughs> there. But uh, yeah, it, you are correct. Nightmare is the appropriate term. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does sound yeah. like it. I don't want to no that like so. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I'm I'm very bad with children. That's the other thing. So I would suck at this job. <laughs> like, yeah. Just- you know, it's so funny too. like, even though I'm a, a professional voice actor, like I would just go in, like I played Cinderella, Tinkerbell, like sleeping, like the classics. And I'd still, mm-hmm. I'd be like, Hey guys, how's it going? Like, it would just be this voice. It wouldn't be like, hello, welcome to the magical birthday of Madison. Like, it wouldn't be any of that. I'd just be like, all right, yeah. who wants, who wants to play a game? Get me the f out of here um by the way you can, can we swear it's fine okay. absolutely you, you fine. Can swear. yeah yeah yeah, Fast, cool. yeah. We, cool. we're gonna swear as well so it's good yeah <laughs> it, was, it, was that. it was that vibe yeah yeah so, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, good times good no times. ptsd at all yeah <laughs> <laughs> why would you have any i don't even understand <laughs> oh why yeah why? It's so fun. <laughs> all right uh so voice i think that became a thing mm. for you and uh you know i'm i'm gonna have Katie ask about this game because I'm going to be 100% honest until that email came I didn't even know about this game so I was like I was looking it up what it is and now I have it on my computer so it's just waiting for me to start totally yeah I on the other hand yeah. absolutely loved the original Oxen Free um, I played it a couple of years ago and uh, right around that time they announced two and I was I've been, been like on the, every time there's like any kind of a, a game event, I was like, "Are they going to tell us anything about Oxen Free 2? I've been waiting for this, so I had, yeah. have played it and I really loved it. Um, I played, I sat it and did it in in one sitting. But like, um, how did you did you play the original? Or are you um are you a fan? I yeah i um i did not i actually did not play the original i knew that it was like uh um i i've watched gameplays through um. Mm-hmm. So- Full full disclosure, I'm not a, an avid gamer myself. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm right. yeah. Let me let me be totally. I like Mario Kart is like my. That's know, fair. That's, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good choice. <laughs> that's a good choice. <laughs> yeah, like that's where we're. Yeah, that's that's the level we're at here. Um, but uh, obviously, I knew all about Oxenfree. I yeah. worked with the developer, um, uh, Night School Studio before mm-hmm. another little game. Um. And just loved working with them. But yeah, I, uh, so I knew like what was going on, Mm -hmm. but um, going in, actually, I didn't even know what the game was that I was going to be voicing until like Mm -hmm. a couple sessions in. And I was like, this is Oxenfree 2. Like, cause I knew what a hit and how popular Oxenfree was and just how it was so beloved. And um, I was so stoked. Um, So to answer your question, like had not played it, but like, Yes, knew about knew, it knew, yeah knew had done my my homework and then uh once I knew like that oh we're doing we're doing two I did you know because mm. uh details and information are not usually readily available yeah, yeah. yeah. All. <laughs> we, we NDA and yeah yeah so I know very <laughs> little and then it's like you kind of put the pieces together as you go along so um yeah but uh but love night school studio and they are the greatest people to work with so I will yeah. say that and I it's know so good it's, to you. it's yeah I mean I have such a good time it's one of those I love little games that I can um pick up and just like play the entire way through in a day um, yeah. Yeah. and I, I really need to go back and, and but play both of them again to be honest because there's so much um there's so many different little bits and pieces you can do with it exactly um, yeah yeah uh, you can push, change yeah. things up yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I always meant to replay the first one because I I uh I, I don't I I didn't get as many satis- <laughs> I want to say satisfactory I mean like because my my go to in any game where it's like your relationships with people are kind of based on like the choices that you make and all this stuff is like how can mm-hmm. I make everybody as happy as possible uh, oh, totally. I, I did not yes. manage that and I think I did I think I did okay in, in, in with this one um where I was just like I just want to make sure everybody turns out all right <laughs> Um, totally yeah i'm totally the same way and like i played through um the end and i was like oh i'm sacrificing myself of course obviously i you know um i was like yeah no jacob's got to go back and and be with his dog and live his life and yeah, i will that was my yeah. my big sticking point i was like that dog 
<laughs> it's to be okay. <laughs> totally. That's all I cared about. I'm like, I didn't even, Riley, whatever, she can handle it. She's she's fine. She can live, you know, in her little cycle of eternity, you know, she'll be fine. That's the so dog funny. needs his dad. Yeah. Uh, it's so <laughs> funny because um I, I I I actually um so I can't remember her name now, but the uh the the teenager, I actually I I because I was sitting there like, well, she wants to go. <laughs> Oh, oh, Olivia. Yes, yes. I know, I know. But and, then, but like, I sat with that for a while. Yeah. See, that's an, that's why it's such a well written. It's just such a well written game, and it actually makes you think, even though it's so simple. And mm. you know, like like you said, it's just like the the choices you have to make. Like they kind of send you into a spiral, like of what? Yeah, uh, uh, of decision making and doubt, and like it's. But it's so simple, and so I just thought that was brilliant. I just think they're brilliant. Um. I love I love the whole concept. Yeah, it's it's I think it's some of the most unique like um kind of yeah it's, it's, I guess supernatural esque um uh it, like stuff that I, I've seen. I really loved the design of it all and um yeah. it, it's just or, it, immediately so striking. Um, but yeah, and yeah. I, I love I I got you know I loved Riley very quickly and <laughs> I think you did a, a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she, yeah, she's very relatable. Well, all kind of all the characters are. And again, that's another thing I love about the game as a whole is every character is kind of if it, it, everybody fits, <laughs> you know, everybody playing it kind of fits in somewhere. But I like that Riley was kind of written as a sort of, you know, the, well, I'm basically her age. So it kind of mm. like represents uh, a lot of where we're at mm. um, <laughs> emotionally and, and in our lives and stuff. So I, I she was a good just well-written representation I think for a lot of people yeah so yeah. I love that um, sure. and she was female yay female protagonist <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> one of the <laughs> real fun things about both of these games is that it's uh, both <laughs> um, because yeah. I, I loved Alex as well when I played uh, that the first time so yeah we um actually I got to meet I met her for the the voice actress um for the first mm. time uh mm -hmm. we did we did a playthrough together of um oh, Oxenfree nice. 2 and like and again I didn't know Alex was going to be in Oxenfree 2 until like basically towards the end of recording I'm like oh my god that's so cool like that they're you know bringing her back mm -hmm. um because there had been a lot of rewrites and things um that's why it took so long to come out um, cause it was like originally going to come out and like, I think 2021 at some point and then yeah, cut to like two yeah. years later. So, um, there was a lot of tweaking and, and like mm -hmm. stuff so behind the scenes going zons. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, no, I, Alex is a great character. I'm glad that they brought her back. Mm. And, uh, yeah. And it was the, the two hand between you and, um, Jacob, well, it really made the whole thing really. Cause it's just like, I'm just going to it's that's the other thing when you give you can you give me like a uh uh what's the companion sort of character to kind of bring around and like ask questions with it's like well you kind of make me like them <laughs> i'm gonna be as like protective of them as possible so yeah, yeah when that that's that last decision came up it was like well i'm not well i would never do this to jacob why would i <laughs> of course yeah i know uh, yeah and you're playing as riley so of course yeah it's and that's, uh, again, yeah, I love that they, like, take the time to, like, build these character relationships. It's not, you're not just dropped in and say, like, well, why do we care about these people? Mm. Um, they really, like, yeah, dig into it and make you give give a shit. Um, yeah. And so that there are emotional stakes. Like, even I got, like, kind of misty at the end. Like, I'm like, oh, my God, like, this is, and and I cared about their friendship. And it's like, well, one of, if one of them has to go because Riley doesn't want to make Olivia go. So, little brat. Um, you know, yeah. uh, it's like, I, you know, I kind of, I kind of mourned that like lack, loss of friendship too, if, if, you know, they were going to basically get separated for the rest of time. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, they did a great job of just making you care. And that's, I think one of the just like defining features of night school studio is like, I mean, a lot of games it's, you know, you don't, they're not designed to care about the characters as much, but these you do. And mm. they do a brilliant job of that. For sure. I, I, was, I was definitely hooked the moment that I found out that it's a like a choice making game because that's that's my thing <laughs> i really oh, like yeah. those kind of games like uh, <gasps> i i love everything that's telltale i uh, you know i love mass effect which is one of my favorite uh, franchises ever uh, so i was like reading about it and i was like oh i have to make choices yeah. <laughs> yes yes <Sign> me up. <laughs> <That's laughs> <so> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so funny. I'm so decision averse. Like I, yeah, it's like, ugh, I have to make a choice in life. Like it gives me anxiety. So ironically, um, but like had a blast doing this game. So oh, I'm, I'm like terrible at it. Like there'll be times where it's like, oh, this is clearly the, the cause I'm like, I have to make the right decision always. Absolutely. So when, when it's, when it's like super ambiguous, I sit there and I'm like, I don't want to do Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I'm very calculating. I need to make the right decision. <laughs> Cannot make a single error in life. Um, yeah. Yep, it's yeah. great. It's, it's the way to live your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what makes it yeah. fun. That's what makes Big it mood. fun. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I will uh, jump to another very interesting one, which is like my thing very much so, uh, because you got to be in a game called Stargate Timekeepers. I am. Yes. Yes. I was like, Oh, I love Stargate. Like I have this, uh, my f- favorite Stargate show of all time is Stargate Universe, uh, yeah. which sadly passed away after two seasons. All right. Uh, yeah. v- very, very sad. I'm still mourning <laughs> the loss I'm of that sorry. show. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I am very interested now because uh, I don't think there's ever been like a big Stargate game or I just don't remember. So I, I, I need to know, like, how did this come along? Like, what was it like finding out that, oh, I'm going to be in, in a Stargate game? <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember if there was, a, again, uh, my my knowledge of, like, past, the past games. Um, Like, this, as far as I know, is not, like, a direct sequel or anything. I thought yeah. they had done another, another game, like, a while back. Um, And I don't even, like, Again, the amount of information I have about, I'm like, when is it coming out? Because I was like, oh, I heard July mm. and, you know, whatever. Um, but I I had just auditioned for it uh, through, actually not through like an agent, um, through like just they had made a posting on uh, an online casting site. Okay. Um, and uh, so I was like, oh, well, you know, throw my mm. hat in the ring. And I, I don't think I even knew the, again, didn't know the name of the game until like they hired me um but uh yeah I like threw my hat in the ring and then uh gosh I guess this was like I think this was last summer maybe was it last summer gosh I'm again like COVID has made (laughs) yeah but anyway yeah it was at least a year year and a half ago and uh and yeah that was pretty much it um sent an audition in and and they were like yeah love love your voice and um yeah we want to do this but I I I think I believe I recorded everything on my own. Like I didn't even do a directed session. So I just, they sent okay. me this massive script and I just sent like, you know, mm-hmm. multiple mm-hmm. options back. And yeah, mm-hmm. um, but the amount of information that was shared with me, again, very limited. Um, but it, it's it seems like a super fun game. And if you love, I, I love the original, uh, like Stargate mm-hmm. movie, like the yeah. James yeah. Peter one. Like I just, it, I'm such a nerd for it. I just, it's so good. Um, and uh, so I was, of course, stoked because, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's iconic. So, it um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think, yeah, if you're a fan, you'll you'll enjoy this one. Um, and again, it's been like a year and a half, so I'm like trying to remember without revealing too much of like mm. what goes on. Yeah. But yeah, you know, space, um, <laughs> sci-fi. What can go wrong? <laughs> what can go Eight wrong? Stars. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. I, oh God, I just love that you said that you love the original movie because I'm like, I'm always like, so what? What kind of sci-fi do you like? And I'm like, oh well, I love Stargate, and you know, yeah, the classics afterwards. And everyone is like, Stargate, yeah, the original movie. There was a movie, and I'm like, totally, yeah. What are you talking watched. about? Yeah, I never, I never watched the TV show again. I just like didn't want to. I don't know. I was like, no, the movie's up for me. And I, you know, I'd loved like Star Trek as a kid and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, oh, it's like, I think that's what had prompted me to watch the movie in the first place, even though it's obviously completely different. But anything space related, like, like uh, all the alien movies I'm obsessed with, um, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but I'm not like, I'm not a big, like we were talking about supernatural uh, stuff before. I'm not, it's a fine line for me. And like this okay. game, I'm free too, um, like the supernatural stuff it's like just enough like they skirt it so it's not like where i'm like what's going on like this is this is a lot so it's uh supernatural stuff is always like a weird fine line for me where i'm like no i you know what it is i think fantasy maybe is not my maybe that's not 
not my vibe so much. Um, mm -hmm. but like, supernatural and like horror films, love it. Um, you know, uh, but like sci-fi supernatural overlap, um, I think can be fun, uh, personally. Yeah. I, yeah. I think, I think our podcast now has like a hidden agenda, just finding me new best friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, as you, I mean, as you should, why else do this? Come on. Exactly. And exactly. I, I, I think you're like the second you mentioned alien and I was like, is this, is this a new best friend here? Like, come on. So, I, I know. And I just, uh, yeah, I'm always torn about which one I like better. I kind of love Aliens just because it's got that 80s, mm, just it likes kind of like Stargate. It's just got that 80s-ness. Um, but Alien is just, it's, uh, it's I, iconic. I, it's iconic and it's terrifying. Like, I feel like mm -hmm. Alien, that scared me more, but I love the kind of camp of Aliens. So, they're like different movies, but the fact oh. that they could exist in the same trip, like, well, quad, whatever, quad. Um, Quadrology, quad, yeah. Quad, Let's quadrology. call it that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, then, uh, you know, it's like, it's kind of amazing because I got it. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, yeah, a lot of that's really hard to do where you're just like, yes, I accept all of these independently. They're their own movies and they're all independently just cool in their own way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, new best yeah. friend unlocked. Courtney <laughs> <laughs> uh, Weaver is just the coolest. Like we can just thank her for having like very strong female characters. Let's be fair. Yeah. Let's be fair here. Uh, she know. opened so many doors with Ripley. Oh my god. So many. I know. I'm such. I'm such a fan. And talk about a great voice. Like mm, I, true. I, I like. I will. Because like in voiceover, a lot of times you have to like kind of put like your sound alikes or like vibe, you know, mm -hmm. so like some of my big ones are like Alice and Janney and like Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. I even put I put Linda Hamilton, you know, um, mm. just like what are all the just like badass mm -hmm. like to mm -hmm. me, um, you know, great. But I, I just love Sigourney's voice. And I just think she's, like talk about ahead of your time. Like she was just she was rocking. Like I I'm just like I can't even imagine headlining a movie like that um you know and kind of being like kind of I feel like she was like the OG of just mm -hmm. she was yeah. she and Linda I mean Linda was too Linda Hamilton Linda was, was too um, true yeah true but um yeah so I guess thanks James Cameron for yeah <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the short message <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do feel like I missed out on the um dress code because you're both wearing tank tops and going for that very like really vibe and oh, I'm yeah. sitting there like yeah. <laughs> black shirt long sleeves <laughs> <laughs> look it's a heat wave here so i'm like i kind of have to <laughs> I um, yeah it's gonna be like 102 here today yay yeah, hey. yeah. Oh, wet I'm, in uh, england <laughs> who is so happy <laughs> jealous uh. uh all right all right uh i i have to know this because it's it, it always interests me especially voice actors like do you have like i know it's a hard question Especially because, you know, gaming and, and whatever, it, so many projects are coming out and, and it's it's all just like, oh, where to look. But is there yeah. like a, a dream role that you really want to do? Yeah, I, I mean, I, all I want, <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> like we always, our goalposts always move. I just, I want, I want to be on an animated series. Like, even if I'm just like mm -hmm. the character who pops in and you know, every, every few episodes, like I'm good. I, yeah, but dream role would be, uh, you know, being a lead or regular yeah. on a, on an animated, um, I series. That. I, yeah. Like, a yeah. I mean, like to be totally cliched, like, like an archer or, um, a, yeah, a family guy, like just something, um, like that. Like I, I just, yeah, that's what I, that's what I visualize for myself all the time. I'm like, it's it's coming yeah. it's coming yeah, it's we're coming. gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring it in yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. Exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. but that's that's the dream gig for sure um it's been a lot of uh and i love hustling i am mm -hmm. you know and but like with video games you know the project ends you know and hopefully the game developer loves you and yeah. they say we're gonna keep you in, you know keep you in mind but that's three four years down the line so okay. it's cobbling together a lot of relationships and a lot mm -hmm. of yeah just hustling hustling and i I love that, but I don't know. Just be nice to get either not necessarily go to the studio because we really don't do that anymore, but um, just show up in my booth at, you know, 9 a.m. on a Monday and be like, all right, let's do our hour session and <laughs> call it a day. That's that's yeah. the dream. 
yeah yeah sounds sounds like a good dream not gonna lie yeah <laughs> yeah, good. yeah 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 like i'm down with that so I'm just gonna keep Manifest let's bring it in power. let's bring it yeah. in bring it in let's bring it make in it happen. <laughs> make it happen yeah. thank you guys i, I really it. really do like that I, I i love like anything animated it's just it's a whole another world to be it fair is. And it's it's just so beautiful and gorgeous uh i could totally see you i'm not gonna lie when i first heard your voice i was like avatar legend of Korra, <laughs> whatever <laughs> like i could i could hear your voice in that universe so i'm like Thank Janet, yeah. Janet, please, <laughs> if you can do something. <laughs> we had Janet Warney on the show at one point, so I'm like, Janet, please, come yeah. on, yeah. we're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You both love Alien, come on. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, thank you. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, uh, uh, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, yeah, and it's such, it's expanded so much. There's so many, you know, it's not just mm-hmm. Nickelodeon anymore, you know, it's no. just... <laughs> all the adult animated series like there's just endless endless fun to be had and Mm -hmm. um i'm not picky um i just yeah i just want to play and i love doing uh i love doing comedy i do a ton of improv um so a lot of times i feel like animation there's a little bit more um leeway with that kind of stuff with Mm -hmm. with video game work less so because Mm -hmm. you know it's it's a lot more regimented um sometimes there is but uh yeah just having a little bit more playtime and freedom to try stuff and um yeah. you know character work i think that's just super so fun so fun it truly so, is yep. Yep. katie i will let you talk <laughs> <laughs> no i want to i want to kind of dig in a little bit more into your um into your uh watching taste because you said you're big into sci-fi are you watching anything um in particular at the moment that you're um particularly excited about or um if there's anything that you're yeah. uh, looking forward to or anything in that vein yes um i am watching uh do you guys know fauda um have you ever heard of fauda i just like, think i have okay uh... it's it's like the it was like the biggest show it's uh israeli okay. uh, it's big it was like the biggest show like in the world at one point and i had never heard of it um it, they're like fourth season but it's uh it's a lot about like the israeli-palestinian like clashes mm-hmm. and it's, but it's like a, it's action it's like it's high octane and it's completely addictive um so highly recommend like it's so well done um mm-hmm. the acting's great yeah so um that's like intense um and super good so we're watching the the last season that's available right now um mm-hmm. of that <laughs> okay. we're like fourth season coming out yeah um and let's see what did we just uh, on on like lighter uh, let's see some of my favorite because comedy stuff i'm really particular about mm-hmm. i will i have to shout out the british version of ghosts um, yes yes the, excellent <laughs> show Yes, it's so <laughs> the original and incredible. It's so delicious, and the American one is a dumpster fire. <laughs> Not good. I, I like. I couldn't. I was like, no, this is. Mm. Uh, just talk about ensemble and just you know, uh, just yeah, that mm. like they know you know because like, they're like a group anyway. Yeah. Uh, so but, like, big part those guys. Um, uh, if you you know, let me grow up a. Uh, um you know in 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 the early 2000s it's like they were so much a heavy part of so many people's childhoods with with horrible histories which is also (sighs) such a spectacular show i was so happy to find that oh my god i loved it oh yeah it's it's like kind of baked into so many like everybody i know growing up was like oh yeah horrible histories and it's like Mm -hmm. it's all the it's it's like all of the same people so it's like yeah of course i'm gonna love this (laughs) yeah predisposed to it i'm almost like yeah Oh my God, they're so good. They're so good. Um, and the show's just so well done. Um, so anyway, that's probably, I feel like that's probably one of my favorite, just comedic. And like, I don't even, I'll just go back and watch it, you know, even though I'm like, when is the next seat? Like, it's not available to us. I'm so, um, so mm-hmm. I'm so, I'm actually behind. I haven't watched, there was like, there was a Christmas episode that's just gone. And then there was, a, there's been a whole other series. And I'm like, I really have to, catch, I have to catch up on that. I'm okay. terrible at the moment though. I've been, I've, I've, I've been rewatching the X-Files for the first time since like oh. eight years ago. And I'm like, it's so like blinders on like, I am oh. only caring about Mulder and Scully at the moment. <laughs> totally get it. Yeah. I um I had never watched X-Files like originally and then um started kind of watching it um 
a couple years ago. Uh, and I was like, this is awesome. Even with like it being so mm -hmm. much, you know, so far out, like, yeah. um, from when it actually aired. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'm totally into this and stopped watching, it, you know, fell off for whatever reason, but it's, it's really good. Um, and it holds up in it my does. opinion, you know, I was always surprised. I got, um, the box set for my 18th birthday and I spent like the entire summer watching the whole thing. And then I don't know, recently something, um, something reminded me of it and I just went, you know what <laughs> i've just been doing that for like the past week i'm like mid-season five now i'm like this was an excellent decision on my part i'm having such a great time <laughs> yeah 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 i know i know it's like yeah we are so nostalgic um yet please don't remake everything <laughs> like that's no. my that's my jesus, big jesus the revival was <laughs> just it's, um... it had oh boy <laughs> yeah uh yes yes <laughs> that's why I, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Um, and yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's just uh, painful, <laughs> basically. Um, God, what else? Oh, my God. What else are we watching? Um, yeah, I think some of the highlight like shows um, really haven't been watching as many movies lately. Um, mm. uh, I think the last movie I went to the theater to see was the new Indiana Jones. And I was just like, oh, I guess it's yeah, like, like many other um, people, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I haven't seen like Barbie yet. I I would like to, um, and I want to see Oppenheimer. Uh, oh like yes, the please. Hits of the summer, but um, like I thought, like over the past year, like uh, oh my god, like Severance was brilliant. Um, oh my god, I love Severance. <laughs> so good. Oh my god, I'm like, when is it coming back? I know. <laughs> but, uh, like, give it to me. That finale was so much. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, oh, it was. Oh, Still it's thinking phenomenal. about it. I know um oh my gosh it, in my free time so my husband uh is an orchestra conductor and oh, is nice. on a lot yeah so um he travels a lot so when he's gone I usually will watch like terrible cr true crime stuff like same <laughs> yeah and um not terrible a lot of times it's you know it's well done but I just like go down that rabbit hole and I'm like really? I need to watch like, an actual show <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like not healthy um so yeah I'm trying to like think of like we just finished something what oh the last jack ryan uh it was so bad it, was, <laughs> it started so well like season one so good the last season i was like this is like bad network television i was oh boy oh. Really? yeah um my parents they, they they tend to go for like they'll watch a lot of like they watch all the star treks and stuff together and then they'll watch things like like the jack ryans and whatnot so i usually hear like from them how what's going on they didn't yeah mention anything about it so i have to assume that it wasn't great it is so non non plus central like it's just not good um it's yeah it's pretty painful actually at times but um uh let's see other like comedy stuff i'm trying to think of like uh I i've like gone back and rewatched veep um because i got round they... to veep i really should do that because I've heard oh. so many great, great things about it. Katie. And I'm such a West Wing fan. So it's like, I feel like it should be right up my alley. And and if you like, just again, harking back, harkening back to, to ghosts and ensemble power. Yeah. It's, it is that mm -hmm. like it's ensemble power at its best and just so funny. Like, yeah, I, I was skeptical and I'm like, this is, this is. It's great. Wow. So good. It's, it's so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. So good. Um. Gosh, I can't even think of shows right now. What am I watching? Tell me shows, because yeah, <laughs> watch a lot. Did you did That's you do thing, Succession? Though. Uh, no, I'm the only. Okay, the two shows. Yeah, <laughs> Lily hasn't shows. seen it either, and I'm like, somebody talk to me about yeah. Succession. <laughs> yeah, Succession and Game of Thrones. Never watched them. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I I did like a season of Game of Thrones back like when it was like still airing, and I was like, this, I don't think is for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're missing, I, out. you're missing out. I know, I know. I think it was more just like rebellion. I'm like, everybody likes it, so I'm not going to watch. It. <laughs> it that. Yeah, um, and it a happens. little bit. Of <laughs> yeah, it does. I know. I feel like Succession. I will probably go and watch because it it just sounds like kind of a a yummy, just gross. Oh, um, it's like know. the the writing on that show is like nothing else really. Because it, it, yeah. it, I mean, it's like, by the way, same guy who did um Peep Show. Um, and I never really got into the Peep Show that much, but like it's well, well loved. Um, yeah. and it is hysterically funny. But like, yeah, Succession just was like, I, 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 I got the first 
two seasons on DVD and then I didn't watch them for a year. I was like, oh, I should get to this. And then I didn't do anything about it. And then by the time I got to it, we were into the pandemic and it was like late in the year. And I just like went through the whole thing and then was like, <laughs> now what? Because I had to wait. Another... It was it wasn't the yeah. season three didn't come out until like summer the next year. And I was like, why have I done this to myself? Um, yeah. 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 It was, yeah. It's yeah. And then that that I think that fourth season that they did was honestly a masterpiece. Um they that they it's 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 like just because my, my younger brother was watching it recently. Um he's nearly 20, so it's not like he's like very small, but like um yeah. I was going back and I was watching a couple of scenes from the first season. It's like, my God, the way that like things have changed from like this beginning point to where they got to at the end. I was just like, oh, it's just it's such it's such good television. OK, yeah. No, I'm you know what? And now that I think, well, first of all, shout out to you having the DVDs of it. <laughs> it's, 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 such just, a novelty yeah, it's one of those things I just already um, there's a we have a, a, a sort of DVD entertainment uh, chain in the UK called HMB. Um, and I will, if I am in like my local city, I will pop into an HMB and just be like, can I get anything on DVD for kind of cheap that I can yeah. just sort of own? I love, yeah. I love owning box sets. I feel like there's something really nice about having like, this is mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's not, that's, uh, yeah, that's not as rare as, as you think. I definitely, and especially now with like these, uh, yeah, the, um, yeah. <laughs> just getting rid of oh that movie doesn't exist anymore it's like mm -hmm. what like that to me is like criminal and terrifying yeah. mm -hmm. and disappearing from existence so i think sure. you are ahead of the curve yeah um, but got, i think like, a couple yeah. i'm like i've got my west wing box set i've got my box set of the leftovers which is one i always recommend to people uh because it's I think, it's very depressing it I'm is yeah. but i love it desperately <laughs> Yeah, that's been on my list. And it's again, it's like mindset. What's my what's my mindset? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a really odd one because I tell I, I for me, I find it like Lily was like, this is the most depressing thing I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, I, for me, I don't know what it is. I've seen the first season so many times, despite the fact I think it is that one. <laughs> that season is probably the hardest to get through um, just yeah. because of the, the tone of it. Um, but uh, I, it's so comforting to me. I don't know. I can't really explain why. There's something about I just really love the the way that they discuss all the themes of like, I mean, it's all about like grief like and trauma. all these <laughs> the, <it's> trauma <laughs> and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, I, yeah. I don't know. I think it just like, I think it's one of those things because it's everything's so like heavy and stuff it just lets things be heavy without it, it also plays into a lot of absurdistness um mm -hmm. that's not really that's a word but we're gonna go with it anyway <laughs> um oh, I got it. Uh, yeah. it goes yeah. um it, yeah it, especially in those the, the last two series and I think everybody in it is fantastic um but yeah I don't think it's one you want to binge like heavily <laughs> like sure. definitely get, do like Personal. an episode or two and then maybe give it a bit of a breather and then go back to it at time yeah um, definitely yeah. and definitely have a good mood that's my recommendation but it because if, if you're in your depressive era, which I think yeah. everyone has at one point yeah. or another, it's not it's it's not gonna help. It's not gonna help get through that. I watched it when I was like very down and I was like why yeah. why why it's, just it's, I know why yeah. <laughs> one of those things that Lee and I uh, have are so like opposite on so many things because like that the leftovers is one of my fav absolute favorites and then I was like talking about bear so much and I love the bear as oh well my God, that was yes. the one, right oh, um, uh, and it, Lily was like I can't it's just it feels too depressing to me and I was oh. like I don't I, I, I like I kind of no. get it but like it's so good <laughs> no, it's so, yes, I get what you're saying. It's so yeah, I'm like getting goosebumps thinking about it. Right. I I think I almost like because we just finished watching it like, I don't know, like a month ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I almost like had to like almost um just purge it or something like it's almost yeah. like because it was so good. I had to like compartmentalize it or something. <laughs> it's so but it's so wonderful. Like the the like with again, without being like over hit you over the head or anything, the writing is just so good. And mm -hmm. it's it's real. Like there's so much realness. That part is sometimes hard to be like, you're like, why are you why? But then but then they're just it's like it gives me all the feels. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, Lily, you are doing yourself a service by watching it. Um, yeah. And, and, uh, I was going to, I'm looking at your last of the last of us poster, w yes. watch that too. Speaking of like bleak and stuff like that. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm, love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the last of us. Like, you yeah, know, that's, yeah. that's my gen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I assumed given. 
given. It's, so it's every, I have it's, that it's, exact it's, same poster just over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you we, guys do see eye to eye on that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. We, we do like yeah. that. We do like that a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly turn back and say that if you're ever going to watch Game of Thrones, which I highly recommend, very highly, I have it tattooed on my leg. So I'm like, I love oh, Game wow. of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love it. Read all the books, which yeah. George R. R. Martin fucking finish it please he's um, working on it give him a push sure. uh, <laughs> but if you ever watch it and you get to season 7 which you can still watch I don't agree that season 7 was bad so I, I'm not going to say it was bad uh, I will just send you a link and watch that instead of watching season 8 <laughs> oh interesting I, otherwise you're going to be very disappointed with season 8 so uh, let, oh. let's just put it this way Wish they would have made season eight. Just like, just gonna put it out there. Okay. Okay. Noted. Well, yeah. yeah after the yeah six months, it would take. To, it, 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 <laughs> you know what it is too. Yeah. Anytime I know, like I haven't watched something. Um, probably except for like Breaking Bad, which I was just totally into. Mm -hmm. Um, but like when you know you have all these seasons ahead of you, it's like. When, that's like me with The Sopranos. I've never watched it. I'm from New I, Jersey. I haven't like, seen The Sopranos either. It's one of those yeah. ones. It, the Sopranos and out. The Wire are both ones that people are mm -hmm. always like, well, you have yeah. to watch this. It's you have the to best. watch and it. And I'm like, uh, I will get yeah. to it at some point. At some point, yeah. <laughs> the Sopranos though, like it's like eight seasons or whatever. And and even still, I know it's amazing. Every Like again, I like lived where they like shot like all this stuff and i'm like it's so close to home maybe that's part of it too i'm just like mm -hmm. i don't know if i want to watch it um but yeah i it's like knowing that there are eight seasons to to get through and like i can't just stop in the middle it's like once you're on the train you know you gotta finish so that's, that's it's overwhelming it's, it's just the it's just in the week yeah that's, it's <laughs> just 10 episodes per season so you know and third season okay. is just seven i think or something like that but i know that they have a shorter season so yeah. okay and it's okay it's really fucking good. Like, okay. you know, okay. It, it, except for season eight. We're not going to talk about season eight. Fuck season eight. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, but I, I will jump ship and I will ask my favorite question that I always ask uh, from our guests. Uh, I'm not going to ask what is your favorite movie. I'm going to ask what is your comfort movie. The movie that you can just pick out and watch it over and over again. And it's going to give you comfort and it's going to be like, oh, yes, this. Yeah, this is home. I love this. Oh, easy. My cousin Vinny. Oh, I've seen it probably 70 know. times at least. I, I yeah, it's hard to explain. <laughs> I just um in fact it um it's basically like my family's Christmas movie, which mm. okay. <laughs> you know, like what like go home for Christmas and it's like we always watch my cousin Vinny. So it just it's so much is attached to it. And I just think it's every time I watch it, I'm like, there's just something else I just get mm -hmm. and I just the characters are so um, you, you guys have seen it right yeah, i haven't I have. actually <laughs> but i'm also terrible i haven't seen she so is. many movies yeah. Yeah. no 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 i yeah i'm the same i know i don't like yeah some of the like most iconic movies i'm like uh how did i it just it not intentionally it just you know fell Miss through the radar. i don't know and, and then people yeah. come to me and go but it's so good and i'm like i have less inclination to watch yeah, it yeah. now. It makes me stop being so intense about this. I'll yeah, get to it I, at some point. I know, right? It's, it's, I, I get, I'm like, I get annoyed. And then I'm like, now I'm really not going to watch it because you're being way too intense about it. I didn't watch Jaws <laughs> for years because I got shamed oh. about it in my, in my film yeah. class. <laughs> like, this is not helping you guys. Um, that said, my cousin Vinny is, it's just phenomenal. It's like, um, because I, again, I love, I, I live for, quality comedy and mm -hmm. to be able to um push characters to the line of not becoming caricature yeah. and mm -hmm. being like these believable people i don't think i've seen a better example of that between joe pesci and marissa tomei oh, yeah yeah they just like it is yeah. up against the line and yet i'm like i believe it you guys are legit you know um but it could have gone south really fast no pun intended um <laughs> take place in the south um but uh like yeah it, it definitely like they just it, it's masterful and i think marissa tomei should have won that oscar i don't care what people say it was a mistake no it was amazing so uh anyway yeah that's that's my comfort movie <laughs> long I story think, long. i i think you're the first one who could just 
yeah, spit most it out. people are kind of sit there and go, I don't know, I don't really think of it, but I love oh, really? that you actually oh. have like a go to. That's really that's really fun. Clear as day. Yeah, that's that's a that's an easy one. <laughs> it's it's a very good choice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like I haven't watched that movie in ages now, but now you made me want to watch it again. So I might just do that tonight. <laughs> to be honest. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank revisit you. revisit the majesty. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um and then another question is that do you have that in the series? That you can just, you know, oh I love like, this series. Like I'm just gonna series. watch it. Uh, let's see. If it's um, just one episode, not rewatching the whole thing, but you're like, oh yeah, I, I love this. Yeah. Um, let me think. That's a harder question. That is a harder <laughs> question. Yeah, because, um, <laughs> of course, yeah, just having come off the bear in that Christmas episode, I'm like, that was the most oh, memorable. Oh my god. <laughs> like you know, so like in my mind, that that's where I'm like, like but I also. I don't think I could go back and watch it because it was so stressful. It was, so, uh, I mean, it, that that episode for that season was like episode seven for season one, where it's like, but like in like two different directions, because obviously that, that that episode seven in, in season one is like 20 minutes and you're just sort of like, this is the most stressed I've ever been in my life. And then they do that for a full hour in the second season. It's I like, know. oh, I know, I, I know. Not also expecting John Mulaney to be that good. I wasn't either. Oh my God, I know. All the little like, sorry just like, Lily. Just, it's okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> that episode is it's so like wild because you're like you're sitting there going like uh, oh there's so many great people in this and then more people keep showing up it's like hey Jamie Lee Curtis is here hey that's yeah. Bob Odenkirk yeah I know <laughs> why are all these people in here I know John Mulaney is really the one where it's just like wait <laughs> I know I know yes and I yes I love love um okay I feel like so my sort of come sorry to, to bring it back yes slowly. please do um, sorry 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 I didn't mean to hijack that with she's like I don't want to hear about the bear one more time um <laughs> I I have like comfort stand-up comedy does that count mm. as like, tv yeah, yeah please okay do. yeah oh uh, uh so I have two like real comfort uh who I just I can re-watch their sets mm -hmm. even if they're super old uh Gary Goldman okay and uh Brian Regan um are both are two of just like my favorite like they're both first of all completely clean com comics um mm -hmm. but they are like it, it I don't laugh out loud easily like at all especially with stand-up comedy especially and they're just so smart and um just I, I can rewatch their uh their earlier specials especially like over and over so um I count that as tv now because 100 percent but yeah, as far as a series, it's hard for me to go back and like rewatch a full series. Um, my favorite series of all time mm -hmm. is The Shield, um, oh, uh, which oh. was on. <laughs> What's that? It's a house. It's just another one. It's another another one of those like classic ones. I just haven't gotten to. Yeah, it's, like, there's, it's, it's yeah. Like it kind of lives in that that sort of section of Netflix, Netflix but with 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 the wire and 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 the Sopranos really? and stuff. Where I'm like, oh, I really yeah. should. Yeah, I I don't know. I just to this day, I'm like, mm, yeah, that was um, that mm -hmm. was that, that was just the best series I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, so but that's not. It's again, it's intense. It's dark. So I wouldn't mm -hmm. say it's a comfort thing. Um, but yeah, I would I would be interested in going back and rewatching it honestly because it was just so well done. It's, it's a really, good, um, it's a really yeah. Good. So anyway, good I sort of think that sort of answers your question. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely does, definitely does. I'm not complaining. I do love stand-up comedy myself. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, right. yeah. But again, yeah, I know. It's, I'm very, very picky about it. Like, just be like, no. Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I know how you feel. I always say, like, there are horror is the most difficult genre to nail. But I, I would put comedy there as well. I would, I would uh, be yeah. like, yeah, those mm -hmm. two are like, you either get it right or it's just, it's just fucking awful. I'm just going to say, you know, like, in both cases, uh, yeah. because yeah. I always find it so hard to find either when I'm in the mood to mm -hmm. catch up on whatever horror. I'm usually in the horror mood. I'm not going to lie. Like comedy, I am just so disappointed in so many times that I'm like, I'm not even actively <laughs> searching for it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, oh, I just long for the days of like '90s comedies. Um, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's just, it's really. I mean, like, I feel like the last really good comedy that was made was like Bridesmaids, and that was what 2013. Mm. Like, I thought that was, I thought that was great. Um, but yeah, I am just like not compelled to to go and see a lot of them because 
they're just yeah they just phone it in horror i never really watched before until i met my husband um and then like really started to like it a lot mm -hmm. um because yeah there's so many like just genre sub genres within mm -hmm. yeah and it can do so much it can communicate so much you don't need stars in it. It, it like it's it's sort of that that one genre that can just kind of rise above the rest as far as the stuff that it can do and get away with mm -hmm. um but with that with great power comes great responsibility and i think yes. for sure like it's not done well a lot but um but uh, yeah i'm just always uh i i feel like it, especially in this era of like re you know uh sequels and and remakes and stuff like that yeah, yeah. um like people like the creativity of horror filmmakers and stuff like it, because they're so much easier to make um it like gives me hope that like cr like true creativity lives on and stuff like that i yeah i, I tend to find a kind of think that horror, horror. At, like the leading mm -hmm. uh, horror really is the space where like a lot of um in independent filmmaking like gets like it, good really yeah. it's it's like it's, yeah. it, it is the space where where a lot of like the most interesting ideas that have become so pervasive like start like I I always um I I, I spent my my dissertation when I was in film school was all about independent cinema in the US so yeah. it's like it's like a little pet like thing that I find particularly fascinating but like um like night night of the living dead um like created zombie media as we know it mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. and then paranormal activity was like both of these were made on like shoestring budgets and they yes. kind of kickstart they both kickstarted like a huge like change mm -hmm. in the way that we, we like what kind of stories that, that horror you know uh, creators are creating and, and whatnot so I always find it it is I, I'm terrible at like I have very specific parts of horror that I enjoy and there are very specific parts of horror that I will just not go anywhere near um but like I, I'm always fascinated to hear about like the stuff that suddenly gets like really, really um that gets a lot of like cult um status behind it. Like that that um it was a movie that came out I wanna say it was last year, but I honestly can't remember at this point because time is uh doesn't exist. it just doesn't exist anymore. Um, doesn't exist. Uh, but it was called it was called like uh, Skinner Marine or something like that. And it was like one of, it was it was like a really strange, like I think it was it was kind of all films sh shot through this kind of like 90s like camcorder style and but it was all it was very experimental and all i could hear from people was either it was absolutely terrifying or mm -hmm. people did not understand why people were finding this thing so scary and actually it was quite boring because it was a lot it was apparently very atmospheric it was just like a lot of very like still shots of like empty spaces and, and whatnot and um but like I did, some of the people who watched it were like this is the most terrifying thing i've ever seen in my life yeah no i, I love a slow burn passionately mm -hmm. um the scariest movie still to me is is blair witch like from mm -hmm. um what i mm -hmm. like that to me that to me was like the original like just in my life like my um yep. Yep. but i'm like that scared the absolute crap out of me and nothing happens in it i mean till like the end the um, yeah yeah and it's it's just all this suspense and anticipation and what you don't see that to me mm -hmm. the art of what you don't see like the second they show the monster like um the new uh uh the last voyage of uh demeter um, yeah i haven't mm -hmm. seen it yet don't spoil it <laughs> i haven't no i haven't seen it either i was okay. just saying but, but it's like you showed the monster in the trailer like I it, like there was okay sorry okay okay that's, yeah. that's a tiny, <laughs> sorry sorry i i just have to just butt in and say that's a tiny bit different because if you know the dracula story it's like I the guess. title is already like giving it away that it's it's dracula i know but story. i still don't want to i just still don't want to see like Bad. i like you i think i think for me the like mind fuck is like when you know that it it is there or whatever mm -hmm. whatever it is if it's if it's there but I don't see it that is what scares me so much. Yeah, see, so, this uh, is where I say that uh, the most perfect episode of Doctor Who is the one episode that has uh, it, uh, terrified me since I was a child, and it is called Midnight, and it does exactly that. It is set on this like just in this like it's like a bus car thing on like this planet made of diamonds, and something is out there despite the fact that they tell you that like nothing can survive out in the atmosphere and then it gets in and you don't know what it is and you never find out and it's fucking terrifying. oh yeah oh totally yeah yeah i i mean i'm i'm okay with the reveal i guess at the 
end or and like not you, the end, but you like never find out about that's, it. That's it is, unsettling. And it, yeah. it, and they play on this air of paranoia so well because like you get very used to it when you're watching Doctor Who. Like he, you know, Doctor comes in and everybody's like you know follows him because he seems to know everything they all yeah. turn on him in the episode and that makes it worse <laughs> it's so oh. much worse <laughs> oh no <gasps> i never i never watched dr who um but yes obviously can appreciate the just yeah if you watch any episode i would highly recommend that one it is in series uh. four it, it um it is honestly a stunning piece of, of of just like television i still like i have seen it since you know <laughs> since i was a kid but it's one of those ones where I, I it's it, like I physically get like so uncomfortable watching it. Um, and part of it is because David Tennant's so bloody brilliant. <laughs> he like, is, yeah, he is. Um, I didn't know who he was until, yeah, like I knew he was Doctor Who. And then I was like, this guy's great. He's, <laughs> like, he's awesome. Icon. Yeah, yeah awesome. he's great. Yeah. And if we yeah. talk about horror movies and David Tennant, then Fright Night. <laughs> yeah, very Please different watch vibe, it. but just a great movie. <laughs> it's yeah. just a great movie. Just yeah. watch it, and he's That's... fucking awesome in it. <laughs> yep, yeah that that is a terrifying. I know, it, and it sounds so like fright night, but I was like, this is terrifying. It <laughs> is. It's, it's I, but it's also like so. It's like it's the perfect amount of campy because it is yeah. really in that like proper yeah. monster horror movie thing. Plus, you get Colin Farrell being you know sexy evil vampire. So what more can you do? <laughs> many but, I I went button again. He's the sexiest here in anything <laughs> that he's ever done. I was like, I was, oh boy, <laughs> very short. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I always knew he was really good. Um, but yeah, I feel like he was oh, kind of underrated for a really long oh, time. Oh, yeah, he's very long time. Legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah he he's is. very, very good. Like everyone was like so focused on his problems and whatever, drinking and that stupid porn video that he made, which I obviously didn't watch. <laughs> and <laughs> obviously why would you I mean, I mean, why, would, why would i do that uh and and you know and people forgot to see that he's a fucking great actor uh yeah. but the other thing that i will say about that movie is that it has my beloved and and wonderful anton yelchin as the main character who's unfortunately no longer with us and yeah. it still breaks my heart every single yeah. time i remember that he's not right. here anymore yeah, he was he was great. He what was a great. yeah, what a yeah, talk about a freak oh. accident. Yeah, yeah, he was awesome. And and I will I don't know if any of you know this, but I I will just reveal this that uh that's a documentary out about him, Love on Tosha. Highly recommended. It. It's up on Prime. Uh, I I and oh, I I saw that up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's revealed that he would have probably died very early on anyway because um, he had this. Uh, oh, I, I looked of this the up lungs. the other day. Yeah, um, I had to look this up the other day, and I cannot remember what it is. Hang yeah, on a I can't. I I'm so bad with medical names and whatever. But it, it's it's basically if you have it, you can get new lungs and whatever. But you're just gonna get it again. It's that oh. if Katie finds it, we're gonna find out what's new. Uh, what's yeah, keep talking, and I'll find yeah. it. <laughs> uh, and and you know, he got diagnosed, and he he knew why they were shooting Star Trek, for example. He he already knew. Wow, that kind of does ring a bell a little bit. Yeah, like some yeah. degenerate, not degenerative, but yeah, yeah, no. Um, it's it, yeah. cystic fibrosis, that was it. That's, yeah, that's. Oh, it. yeah, 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 that's, I, that, that does ring a bell. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully so sad. It's, yeah, and yeah, yeah, he was awesome. He, he really was. He's, yeah. And horror movies, as Anton, yeah, one of his last movies is Green Room, uh, which. That if, was so disturbing. Like, right. but like, good. Yeah, my um, my husband was like, "This is a really intense movie, but it's really well done." I'm like, "Okay," and yeah, you're just like, oh, "Yeah, it's it's good." And, but, I yeah. I saw the trailer for that um back around the time it came out, and I have have always intended to watch it. And I just never got around to it. <laughs> really, really, it's very disturbing. It's, it's very, very disturbing, but it's yeah. worth it. And I'm I'm uh I don't do well with disturbing like See, neither do i but it, I, it's, it's like kind of one of those i I've, I'm, I've we've talked about this a couple of times on this podcast where i i have like a belief that like if you're gonna do like a horror movie i think there should be like a, an, an element of like aftercare kind of built into what it is because if you're yeah. leaving it going like i just feel awful yes. i don't know if that's like I, I just don't think that that's like the way to go about it i don't think it needs to like resolve in like a happy way or anything but like an element of like we're going to lead you out of this in a way so that you're not like totally traumatized 
Yeah. The, the the one movie that that epitomized that for me, uh, where it was just like, did you ever see Eden Lake with yep. Michael Fassbender? Yep. That it's... movie disturbed me on another level where I was angry. I was so angry by the mm -hmm. end. There's mm -hmm. no resolution. It's just like, this is awful. And it was like, and Michael Fassbender and, and what, Kelly Riley? Uh, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, and they're both great actors. And I'm like, oh, cool. Like, this will be, you know, whatever. And I was so about Michael Fassbender at the time. Mm. I was I mean, he's furious. I was like, I sick to my, it was one of those where I felt ill, where I was so disturbed and just like mm. this. Oh, anyway. Okay. Yep. Yep. That yeah, I feel you. Example. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel you. Then I was like, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, oh Jesus yeah. Christ. What, what is the happening? Fuck? Yeah. The fuck? This is not good. And and the because what makes it worse than when you get into true crime, which you know, we talked yeah. about. Yeah. There are cases like this and you're like mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I cannot know I like I can't this I can't like know about this in the world. Like I can't no, no. can't think about this because I will go insane. Probably yeah. for the same same with me. Yeah. Uh, uh, be, before we go anywhere and and say goodbye to our dear listeners and watchers and whatever, we I have <laughs> uh, I have two very important questions. One is still horror related, so I have to ask it. Sure. Did you ever watch with your husband Train to Busan? Um. Did I? I don't. Oh God, I'm honestly trying to remember now. Because I remember seeing it up, like, yeah, seeing the, I seeing think it if you've there. seen it, then you would remember. Okay, it. then I didn't. No, but I just remember seeing, like, and I'm like, oh, that looks, like, interesting. And, but yeah, if I saw it, like, it, it would have been years, years ago, or like, yeah, a while ago. Um, So no, no, I did not. Okay, did then not. I, I will make the boldest statement, and I don't even say sorry after it. It's the best zombie horror movie that you can watch. Okay. Okay. Because so, yeah, we, we do, like... Yeah, we like a zombie. I watched it. I'm, I think I'm at like 110 times at this point. Really? Yep. And wow. I never I never get tired of it. It's beautifully written, oh. character built. It's just everything and beyond. She loves okay. it so much, she sent it to me for my birthday. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I did watch it and it is an excellent movie. Okay, <laughs> she was, okay. she was yeah. like, you need to watch this. She just gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like you need I mean, to watch it. Yeah, this is the gift I'm giving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally get it. Okay, I'll have to, yeah, because I know I can like kind of like sort of vaguely like see it because I remember just keep, I kept seeing it, seeing it. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Got that, it. Def okay. Definitely, definitely put it on your watch list. And okay. then the most important question before we go anywhere is where can people find you? And where can we find you? Because we have to become besties now. That's you can't escape. <laughs> oh, I, I know, I know. Um, well, uh, let's see. So I'm I'm not on I'm not on the TikToks because I'm almost That's 40. Fine. And I am I, not on I, TikTok I, either, and I refuse. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know I'm more now it's just like a safety like a date like I don't want my identity I don't know no. yeah uh, anyway no no, no shit TikTok. anybody who's on there go make your stuff oh yeah um, I'm always impressed by the people who wait things that people can make on there I will just I I will end up on there and I will never be able to leave and it will be bad <laughs> that's that's exactly what yeah so like Instagram is just kind of my go-to I'm like I just need to see a picture what's going on great like yeah um so instagram at liz sata um that's really where i'm most uh frequently um my youtube channel is at elizabeth sata mm -hmm. um uh what else facebook who cares um <laughs> whatever it's called and i'm also not on twitter slash x because fuck elon musk <laughs> understandable um, also we don't need to call it x it's twitter yeah. thank you yeah um so i'm like so I'm findable. Um, probably, it, yeah. I need to stop being so like cynical and like not. No. But yeah, for mental health, I I'm like I'm keeping it it keeping my lane real narrow here. That, I honestly um, think that's the better way to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Instagram's yeah. the best way to find me. Um, but I do uh, occasionally do you know do some content on YouTube. Um, just not for not for a bit. But um, yeah, I'm trying to trying to. Keep the creative vibes going so yeah youtube and and insta those are my faves right. can i yeah. cut in and just ask yeah. one last question and then sure. we will let you go i'm curious as to what you think is uh, uh is the perfect comedy because oh yeah <laughs> um 
I don't know if it because like there's there's been a lot of talk over the past couple of years about how like comedy's kind of moved away from being like a filmic or a genre that that like does particularly well in film and works way more like better in television. And I'm wondering mm-hmm. if like if whatever you think is the perfect comedy like fits into that space or if you're like um a like well, film purist in that sense, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's hard because it's hard to sustain. However, mm-hmm. um, okay, so my favorite comedy movie that I just think where I literally laugh in every scene is Dumb and Dumber. Uh, I, 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 it's, it's so dumb and so. <laughs> and dumber. It, it's just so great. I mean, every single scene. And of course, a huge part of that is the, uh, again, the actors. Um, yeah. But it's just situational, situational comedy um, at its finest um but like as far as like sustained comedy it's a really hard thing i think veep nailed it like Mm -hmm. it is funny to the end i thought it was gonna fall off and be Mm. whatever again i think ghost is a great example of it um so i think like the perfect comedy the perfect comedy is one uh, and i'm like watching what we do in the shadows right now too (laughs) and um (laughs) Yeah, I know. So love the first season. And I like this last season in between what it just (laughs) jumped it to me, it got real gnarly. So I think they got back to basics, which is, again, fish out of water. I I think, yeah, God, because like, there's so many, obviously, so many different comedies you can do. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, fish out of water is pretty much a slam dunk as far as I'm concerned. Mm. if you really lean into that um so that's a great example of that and then i don't know yeah i can't define a perfect comedy because it's magic you Mm. can't and 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 that's why these studios are suffering because they don't know they they're not willing to take chances and stuff like that no it's not true it's not a formula necessarily let's be honest uh everyone is getting so offended by anything at anything. this point yeah. that uh, any chances. Yeah, yeah that yeah. that comedy became like yeah. a plague kind of like you know yeah. if if we say that then this group is going to murder us if we say this then this is we're going to murder us the fact and i i will stand by this the fact that people are now attacking fucking tropic t- thunder which was made to make fun of fucking hollywood I, I and know. that was the exact fucking point and now people are like but like how dare they do blackface or robert that was the fucking That's point. Was, that... I was just thinking about that movie yesterday, too. I'm like, yeah, could they make this today? Probably not. Fucking just not. because yeah. nobody fucking gets any. Like, nope. they were so dumb. Like, come on, guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just you have to spoon feed everything. Explain. Yeah every joke and so that's the death of comedy i'll tell you that i don't know it is. i don't know what makes a perfect comedy but i do think it, it requires taking chances and hmm. trying different things and nobody has the budget or willing well they have the budget they're just not willing to you know so uh so i think in indie movies is, is maybe <laughs> yeah. maybe indie movies are where we'll see a resurgence in in good if comedies. it will be anywhere it will be in indie Probably, in, in, yeah. in indie comedy for sure yeah. um yeah, i, I, no, I yeah, I do. I do. I miss the um the sort of the I, I do miss the NBC sort of comedy Thursday era of of like uh you, things rocks. like I like, oh yeah you thirty rocks and, and and Parks and Rec and and oh god I miss mm-hmm. Community so much um <laughs> yeah yeah I Community was good yeah I I didn't watch um I didn't watch Parks and Rec actually um but oh, I watched yeah. all of during the pandemic I watched all of Seinfeld for the first time um mm-hmm. again a great example of a show about nothing but the the ensemble is everything um and then 30 rock which i was like i pretty much laughed i think yeah at every scene pretty much and i was like <laughs> this is amazing so basically tina fey if mm. she could just do everything then we'll be fine yeah that's, yeah. that's, it. that's it, it's one of away. those things if, if uh, i can't i think it sort of falls apart in places but i will regularly go and watch like compilations of some of the funniest bits in new girl just to make myself laugh because like <laughs> j- some of those bits are hysterical oh i <laughs> know so- yeah. But it, the, the, at least the first, like, I mean, the hot, it, there are some excellent points throughout the entire thing. It kind of, like, they go a bit odd in, around, like, series three and four, and then they kind of find their way back by the end of it. But those first two se- seasons are uh, so good. Um, but there's, like, there are jokes throughout that entire show that are just, like, and I, I will regularly quote. And I think it's part of it is, like, less about, like, the actual joke and the, the more the performance of the joke. I think yeah. the the cast in that in that show are um, 
it just that's so funny <laughs> yeah yeah no i mean because a joke does not live on a page like yeah. that's a great point like it's just yep. you need funny people to do it and um yeah that's i think taken for granted yep um so that's, that's why ai can't can't do yeah, can't that's, that's, yeah. that's the takeaway yeah that's the takeaway that's <laughs> yeah. and that's what we're gonna leave everyone with because yeah, yeah fuck yeah. ai um <laughs> Liz, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to be in contact to have you again after Stargate comes out because we have to talk about it. Totally, yeah. I know. I'm I'm like, yeah, I was like checked in like a couple weeks ago. I'm like, where, where is this game? So, I'm, yeah, I might have to like, <laughs> hello. Email them. guys, hello. hello. I <laughs> need this game to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I was, you guys are a joy to talk to. Um, really, this was fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, and Anytime. thank you so much for coming. Uh, and to all of you out there, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment under the video, and mm -hmm. just listen to the podcast. I usually put out like some kind of question about what we talked about, so you can just you know vote on that as well. Uh, follow Liz uh, the on Instagram. In the <laughs> Let, yes, on Instagram and on YouTube because she's on YouTube. YouTube. Um, exactly. Exactly. And uh, yeah, and uh, we're going to see you next time. And uh, we love you all. Mm -hmm. And watch movies. Watch movies. Do it. <laughs> and play games. And yes. play games. <laughs> and